What's up, guys? Mikey in the building. Hey, I'm going to go over um, Saito. All right. I thought this was a great one. Um, let me pull up yesterday's, uh, or sorry, Friday's zone that I was really watching and paying attention to. All right. This area right here um, held, and I saw some buyers come in, and then after hours, we had some nice action. So I threw a zone out from um, basically 32 to the 28. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into um, today. All right. Now, Saito. Thought this one had a nice week open over here. All right. And not only that, uh, it pretty much flagged. Okay. You got your little one minute flag, or, you know, I, I just look at the book now. So to me, this is popping up and flagging right here. Now, there wasn't a lot of appetite on the best bids, which was great. Uh, there was some support at 32s, definitely uh, not as strong in, until it actually started to, to break out and then a front runner came here. Some support right here. Now, when this thing pulled back, this is a previous area of interest. I thought that was pretty phenomenal on that one. Now, the bids weren't super aggressive, but I know there was a lot of shorts trying to short this and uh, maybe some shorts got blown out uh, on the front side of this move. Uh, these are your uh, lower highs right here, or sorry, higher lows. Okay. Um, this thing did a nice book flip right here. thought that was really nice. All right, 39 had a big offer right there, 63K. As soon as it chewed through, they had a nice book flip right here. You can see the bids come in pretty clean on this one for continuation. All right. Um, and this thing, what it did was it peaked out from yesterday's highs. All right. Um, I thought this stock was very phenomenal. Okay. This thing came down, did a nice W pattern. Pay attention to these. All right, these are really nice. I really want to see the top of this uh, area. Go ahead and break through. All right, anybody shorting here and, and, and caught some shorts here on this one uh, eventually had to cover and get um, and, and reposition themselves. Now, all right, guys, once this thing started to break out, there was no bids on this. <laughs> no bids, all right? So uh, be mindful. Uh, scale along the way, right? Uh, I thought 31 ads down below were pretty sweet against that uh, previous zone that I marked out on that one. Uh, I traded this one and I traded uh, NOGN, okay? NOGN, um, especially down here, caught a decent scalp off this one. I saw this thing holding up and then I saw there wasn't that much appetite on the best bid, so I wouldn't win and take, uh, took some. All right, uh, play this one a little aggressive, uh, to be honest with you, okay? Um, okay, um, and then after that, there wasn't that really much bid support on this, so I pretty much, uh, you know, soaked some shares down here and down here and uh, took some profits on this one, and then that's pretty much um, all she wrote on this one. I really wanted this to break out right here, but uh, again, you know, it's it, as a long when I'm trading on the book, too, I really want to see support follow up with these moves, all right, um. You know, really want to see some bidders come in, maybe some book flips, right? If we're going to go and smash these offers, I would have loved to see a bidder step up, you know, and step up right here. We had some little bids right here. You can see them trying to catch as uh, price action is starting to move up on here. But uh, that wasn't the case. So, you know, uh, this turned into an, uh, a scalp for me. But hey, almost 10 cents on this one. And Saito was a beautiful, beautiful long. All right. All right. Um, that's pretty much all I got for today. Uh, I really want to emphasize to guys um, the fundamentals, okay? Guys, the current order book, breaking this down real quick again. Four components, your current order book. It's going to give you all the offers and all the bids, all right? I don't really pay attention to level two anymore. Uh, once in a while, I'll have it up to see if there's quads again and things like that. But I see all the order flow right here. I see what, 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 how they are doing it, right? It's very important to pay attention because it's constantly changing okay guys 2023 going to 2024 there's algos all over the place all right it's very important to keep up with this okay all right so current order book after that we're gonna have our heat map this is what we're trading with no heat map this is what we're trading with with the heat map very important okay another component all right volume dots all right all right without them you can't really see the aggressors on the book all right. Now, with that being said, there's always going to be a best bid 
and then a best offer okay any given moment best offer and best bid and as you see with the heat you can see them either being caught with the best bid because there's a, a limit order a potential buyer or algo all right um, all right so you got your current order book you got your volume dots that I took off let's throw them back on okay that's a key component to see the aggressive buyers or sellers all right your heat map it's gonna let you know where you know uh, supply and demand is basically some some supply some demand all right uh, and then you got your volume bars all right so best bid best offer volume dots all right the heat maps let you know where liquidity is and then the current order book super super important guys all right uh, much love peace out Mikey